Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna do a quick Paragon review, which is an activewear brand we've never covered on this channel. It's also been a minute. I've been MIA over the summer going on trips and traveling and sharing that experience. So definitely stay tuned for more travel vlogs. I just posted my Switzerland travel vlog. Check that out if you haven't. But on this channel, we do fashion style and travel. So it's about time we get a fashion video posted for you. So welcome. I hope you enjoy. I hope it's helpful. In these review videos, of course, we try on the clothing and things like that. But we also go over feature sizing recommendations, squat proofness, whether or not it's gym friendly, generally all the things you would want to know in gym clothing. I try my best to cover it all. If you're new here, my name is Veronica. Welcome. If you'd like, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you. In the interest of getting to the point, let's go ahead and just get into this video. For my measurements, you can see them here and they'll also be in the description for you for your reference to help you with your own sizing. So the first thing we'll go over because I already have it on is this top. This is their Reg Stretch Despy Infinite Long Sleeve Bra and it is in their creamsicle color. Very cute, very 70s vibes, which I dig and really good for Halloween because orange is like a staple Halloween color. It's giving pumpkin. With the Despy collection, they did add this cool pattern, which is very groovy, again, very 70s vibes. When I got this top, it was $36. Right now, it's actually only $14 because it is on sale. They're getting rid of their last stock. So if you like it, definitely go grab it. It's available in a small and medium as I'm filming this. I got a size medium. For me, I am in between. So I sized up because of my chest size and upper back. And for me, it fits perfectly. If you're in between, I definitely would size up just so you're covered here. And of course, it is rec stretch. It's pretty, not tight, but very fitting. If you're not in between, just stick to your true size. This this rec stretch material is 84% nylon and 16% spandex. Of course, you have the long sleeve and it actually has thumb holes, which is great. There is an elastic right below the bust, so that helps with support, which is necessary with this deep V. I did get a medium. I don't find that it cuts in. I feel like if you size down, if you're in between, you may find that it'll cut in. So just keep that in mind. These do have removable cup pads. I do have the cup pads in right now. This is what it looks like without the cup pads. Boom. So taking the cup pads out can help to give you a little bit more room in the chest area. But of course, without cup pads, be aware that you may be prone to a little nippage. I've worn this before without cup pads and I haven't really had any issues, but it's just like a given without cup pads that may happen. And although this sports bra looks amazing this way, it actually is reversible. So when you look at the back here, this is what it looks like in this form. You can flip it around and have a more full coverage in the front. And this deep V will be more so like back showing. So let me show you what that looks like. Here's the top reversed. And what's awesome about this reversible top is that they actually do have space in the other side for the cup pads, which is actually a rare feature with a lot of reversible tops in athletic wear. So I love that Paragon thought about including that. So I actually do have the cup pads in right here. Then for the back, this is what it looks like. Very cute, love. And for me, I definitely would be more comfortable wearing this top in this fashion for the gym because of course there's a little bit more coverage and support wearing it backwards. Both ways are cute, it just matters what vibe you're going for. Back into my preferred way to wear this top. So let's go ahead and get into the Rec Stretch Despy leggings, which I am wearing the matching color now. And I'm obviously obsessed with these leggings because I did get them another color. So let's go grab one and I'll show you some of the features before I show you what they look like on. So here are the leggings on the hanger. I am obsessed with this color. I'll post the colors on the screen. I actually got these leggings in a medium and a small. So these are a medium. The ones I have on are small. I'm in between a small and a medium for all leggings, no matter what brand. Typically, I usually go for a medium in shorts and a small in leggings, but because the rec stretch is such a thin material and there are seams on it, I opted to get a medium the first time I bought them just to be on the safe side. And they do fit well. These are mediums and I still wear them all the time. But the second time I bought them because I was obsessed with them, I did get a small and I do prefer that fit. So I will show you what the small looks like on my body and then I'll show you what the medium looks like so you can kind of compare and contrast. This is the rec stretch Despy original sculpt C plus. So this this is their most like booty-licious leggings with the Sculpt Steam Plus feature. Paragon's very much known for that seam. They do also offer other leggings and other materials that have less of that glute popping effect. These retail for $68. And again, they are the rec stretch material. So 84% nylon, 16% spandex, and their inseam is 27 inches. I'm five foot eight. They have a lot of vertical stretch. So they are tall girl friendly. On Paragon's website, you will see other Sculpt Steam Plus leggings like Levitate and other 
types of leggings that have that seam. This is their original legging and it is the Dust B collection. So there are some differences. With this one, the back waist is actually more of a dramatic V to help with glute aesthetics. Of course, you still have this groovy print throughout the whole legging. And then here you can see the Sculpt Plus seam. It does gather right here, but once it's on, it smooths out completely and you can't even tell that you have any sort of scrunch. There is a triangle gusset here as well to help with camel toe issues. I do find for these Dust B leggings specifically, the gusset actually goes towards the front and you can kind of see it sometimes. So you definitely have to be mindful and move it around. And if you don't wear your leggings with a thong underneath, you can get a camel toe because this rec stretch material is that thin that it can kind of like go up in the crevice. So I don't really necessarily agree with their claim that they're camel toe proof, but with any kind of thong underneath, you really shouldn't have any issues once you position the legging. With the back, you do have a tonal Paragon logo, pretty simple, standard, elegant. After several wears, I did notice a little bit of pilling at the top. So just be mindful of that to be more delicate with your leggings and wash them properly. To be fair, I don't. I just throw them in and then dry them in the dryer as well. Air drying would probably help with that issue. There there are no seams on the side, so this is a very simple looking legging. Of course, you do have the seam on the inside to help with the structure. And then the other thing they changed with the Dust B legging specifically is that they did a raw cut hem at the bottom. As you can see here, there is zero stitching here. It's just raw cut. And I do notice that the waistband tapers in just slightly, nothing too dramatic like some buff bunny leggings. It is high waisted. It goes to the belly button. I did get these leggings in four different colors, some dark, some light. I will show you the squat test with a sticker so you can actually see how sheer they are once you squat. Of course, lighter colors typically tend to be more sheer and I do find the orange one to be very sheer even standing up. Sizing up to a medium helps with sheerness. So if you are concerned about that, definitely just size up. I found the medium to still work and be comfortable. Other than that, I don't have too much else to say about this legging. So let me go ahead and position you guys so you can see them on. Here are the Des B Original Sculpt Seam Plus Rec Stretch Leggings. These leggings are the size small and I do notice with the waistband there's not a lot of digging. There's no seam at the top that contributes to that but there is a second layer of fabric here that's meant to help keep the leggings up so I do like that feature. There are seams here on the side so just keep that in mind and I do notice that there's potential for some rolling whenever you're like sitting down and bending over or squatting. I find that it pops back in place pretty well and it's not too excessive. Just keep that in mind if that's something that annoys you. With the gusset, like I mentioned before, you can kind of see it in the front. So I know some people don't like that. I personally don't care too much. This creamsicle color is very, very, very light and I did get a size small. I do notice that you can see like tattoos if you have any like dark tattoos because of how light the color is. Not sure if it's going to pick up on the camera, but that's what I'm seeing here in person. So already I can tell you these aren't very squat proof in this color. And again, rec stretch is just such a thin, thin, material. The material is very, very slick and it is thin. It honestly reminds me of like Lululemon Align. I find them very comfortable for working out and weightlifting. This is what it looks like in the back. Very cute. I do have hip dips, so I find because these leggings are so, so thin, they do sometimes accentuate them and any kind of cellulite you're going to see because of the material and how light these specific leggings are. Ooh, talk about a jump scare. So it's Veronica obviously editing this video because there is no audio in this video clip. Unfortunately, I'm still getting used to using these mics. So the video does have audio later. Just bear with me right now as I voice over this clip and talk about what I was talking about. Essentially, I'm just going over the glute scratch that is with these leggings and saying that you don't even notice that it is a scrunch once it's on. It honestly looks so natural and it goes right between the cheeks. It's very, very flattering and it's not obnoxious. Here, I'm showing you that when you squat, these leggings actually do tend to flip over at the top, as you can see, very small flip. But if you are someone who does not enjoy that, you might want to avoid these leggings just because they do it a lot, okay? We're also showing that it's tall girl friendly because I'm five foot eight and these leggings are 27 inches, but very stretchy. And now I am showing you the purple leggings that are on because these are the medium size leggings. And honestly, they look very, very similar to the small. Even the waist is very, very similar. There's not actually a lot of give in the waist in the medium. 
items. Everything is literally the same. The glute aesthetics to me are the same. The only difference is around my hamstring and lo lower glute area. It does kind of look like there's extra fabric there and you can kind of feel it as well when you're walking around or squatting. So that is why I did size down when I made my second purchase with these exact leggings because to me the small just fits a lot better and it feels like there's more support and there's just too much fabric in the back of the legs <laughs> on these purple leggings. Let's be uh, for real. So if you're in between just go ahead and size down unless you're super worried about squat proofness then maybe you could size up because I could could still wear the mediums like it's fine. The next legging we have is going to be the Rec Stretch Levitate Sculpt Seed Plus legging in the color Galaxy, which unfortunately this color is not available anymore, but they do have other colors available on their website. I got this legging only in a small because I did learn my lesson and opted for smalls for Paragon. And this was also $68, of course, also made out of their Rec Stretch material. So it's the same makeup of 84% nylon and 16% spandex. There are some differences with the Levitate legging. So in the front, you can actually see there's a double stitch here just to give a cute accent for the waist. And then in the back, that double stitch goes into the V-seam here. And I find the V-seam to be pretty dramatic actually probably more dramatic than the dust bee leggings. You still have the dramatic sculpt seam plus here and then you do have the tonal paragon logo which is raised. Also find this waistband to taper ever so slightly. The gusset is exactly the same triangle shape but what's interesting is these ones don't show at all when you're wearing them in contrast to the dust bee leggings. So obviously the structure is just like slightly different with the levitate which it is a different type of legging so that's understandable. The end seam is 25 inches and it's still tall girl friendly because the rec stretch is very very stretchy vertically and horizontally to be honest and with the bottom there is going to be a seam there's no sort of raw cut here still no seams on the outside only on the inside for structure really like this legging it's obviously much more simple than the dust bee legging so let's go ahead and try this one on hey it's me again with the last voiceover. I promise this clip. I just also didn't get any audio content. It is what it is. But um, these are the Levitate Sculpt Scene Plus leggings and they are in this gorgeous galaxy blue color and I'm obsessed. It does actually feel a little bit different than the Despy Sculpt Seam Plus leggings. Of course, it is a slightly different legging, but even the rec stretch material feels different here. It feels way more performance like than the Despy leggings. And for that reason, in. It doesn't pill as badly and it also just feels like a little bit, I don't want to say looser because it definitely still fits well, but if you are in between 100, 100% size down, do not size up. And if you're true to size, I would still even consider sizing down in this legging because it really does have so much horizontal and vertical stretch and the fabric just feels slightly more performance than the other Despy legging. It doesn't feel as hugging on the body. So just keep that in mind. In terms of the glute scrunch, it still is pretty much the same as the Despy legging. Still very flattering in my opinion. I do still find that any kind of cellulite and hip dips are going to be shown here just because it is still a very, very thin fabric. And of course, if you get a darker color like I did here, it can definitely help in the cellulite department. I also find that this legging, again, just feels more performance. And with that, there is a bit of shininess to it in person it's not as bad but seeing it on camera it's like more prominent so that's something to consider if you don't like that type of legging but otherwise I actually really really like the levitate leggings because honestly the double stacked waistband I find really really cute and I like the v-shape a little bit better in the back I think it's slightly more simple and flattering there's pros and cons between levitate and the despy collection I don't think you can go wrong either or 
But if you do choose to levitate, please consider sizing down. I'm warning you, you're going to regret it if you size up. That is going to conclude today's little try on haul review for Paragon. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you got something useful out of this video. If you have any other brands for me to try or any other video concepts you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do look at every comment that I get. If you like the video, please, please feel free to hit that like button. It does help the channel out because it pushes out the video to more people, especially if you're a fellow girly because sometimes these legging videos go to the wrong crowd if you know what I mean and I would love to see only girly pops on these videos because that's who they're intended for. If you're not subscribed feel free to hit the subscribe button if you feel inclined to. Again I do post videos every other Sunday on travel, fashion, and beauty. I have a pretty in-depth Buff Bunny collection review coming up. I've really been in an athletic apparel kick lately but other than that thank you for watching again. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!